Hey guys, welcome back to kit number four. And in today's episode, we're going to be building a party popper in vanilla Minecraft. Now this is something that will take into account two different lengths of signals and dispense two different uh, lengths of fireworks from the dispensers. So this is something that I've been wanting to build that's more of just kind of a fun thing. So I hope you guys enjoy, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's build this thing. To start off with how we're gonna do this with the party popper, we're gonna have a, for the redstone, we're gonna have a seven by 11 area. Now, I'm gonna also implement another version of this on my far side series. So it's gonna be a big, massive thing compared to this. So I'm, for something like that, if you're gonna do it larger scale, you're obviously gonna need more area for it. But as of right now, for this party popper, we need a 7 by 11 area with three deep blocks indicated by these green blocks. So we're going to start off by placing a dispenser with a hopper going back into it, comparator going out of it, redstone going across the top with repeater going into a block with a piece of redstone on that block with a repeater pulling out that redstone with that activating this redstone and activating that block and then that block needs to be have a redstone torch on it underneath the hopper to hold that item now we're gonna make these all a length four just so that we can get more item more uh, oh that's supposed to be a comparator sorry so we can have more fireworks dispensing so then we have another comparator coming out here and now since we're having items you either have an item that goes out of length one or of length two we want to be able to handle both of those. So that side's going to handle the length of one. This one's going to handle the length of two. Now, one thing we have to take into consideration is when this has two, two pulses. So we want to play our two uh, length of two that this one doesn't get activated. So we want to put a lock on that. So we want to do this. Put that around like so. That will place a lock on that. And this needs to be three ticks. One tick, two tick. Um, and then that goes off there and that goes off there so if we can see when we place an item that activates two it's gonna put a hold on that so that the signal doesn't go that way and then we are going to make little clocks here so comparator with redstone going into it so that's a little that's a little clock then we're gonna have the same thing over here a little clock going right here Place the redstone going around like that. So we have two little clocks to handle the dispensing. And then, um, actually, we want this one to be right there because of how we're doing this. And then, same with this one. We want this one to be <laughs> right there. So then we can put our dispensers that are going to dispense our fireworks right like so. And, oops. And right like so here also so then we have dispensers to dispense our fireworks and I'll show you I'm doing that as for the redstone part though this is the completed redstone we'll explain it in a little bit but let me show you guys it working so remember to put these comparators also on subtraction mode so click it to take it into subtraction mode so we got these things loaded with fireworks so let's activate this and show you guys what the difference is so if we were to activate it one goes so then that goes two let's say oh still one still length of one so the 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 item the diamond boots is going to send out a two this one's going to send out a one so diamond boots there we go so diamond boots is going to send out more than than the gunpowder and that's the whole point is it's just some little fun that i wanted to build uh, because I'm going to be doing something like this, like I said on my far side, sir, on the far side SMP, having to do with fireworks and stuff. So let's uh, let's get into explaining it. So what is actually going on here? If we look at this, right, when we activate this, this dropper is going to drop one item into this item hopper, right? So watch, right? It's in there. We just saw it in there. So when that happens, we want it to hold, hold for however long we want it to hold for so that this line can stay active to activate this clock long enough to send off enough items that we want it to. So that's what this is doing, right? 
It act this comparator sees there's an item, activates this, which activates this redstone, activates this repeater, but it extends extends it by four ticks, which activates this block, activates this redstone, and then the repeater pulls that signal out, which also extends another four ticks, and that powers this block right here, then this redstone gets powered, and then this repeater gets powered also, and that also extends it four ticks. So if you want it to to the clock to run shorter just extend these and if you want to run longer you can always just pull that out farther too and then that repeater like i said activates this block that this torch is on and then it deactivates that redstone torch to throw the item back into the into the dropper now once this item is in the the hopper this comparator is going to like i said depending on which item comes out if it's the gunpowder then it will send out a signal of one. If it's the boots, it will actually send out a signal of three, but we're just picking up two because that's all we need it to pick up for compactness. So once that happens, if it's a signal of one, it only activates this redstone, which then activates this, throws this clock around, and we have this time to only dispense two items so that there's different things going on here depending on the item that gets dispensed. So it's, it's kind of random, and you could, you could eventually add in more things too. Um, you could add in another comparator system again to add in two more, two more there. So you could have all sorts of different lengths going if you wanted to extend this farther. But this clock's going to go, and it's a little bit slow compared to that clock over there because of the length of the repeaters, to where this is only going to uh, send out two, two items. So let's see if we can get this one to go. Here we go. See? Slow. It's kind of slow compared to the other one, as you saw. So if we, though, take this, I want to get this to watch this repeater for once we get it a length of two. Nope. We need to get this a length of two. Nope. I can just throw the item in there. See, see how a repeater lock gets placed on that? Well, that's, that's to prevent the three length or the two length to go and activate this also because we don't want this one activated when it's two length. So that's what this part right here takes care of. This is three ticks and this is two ticks. So what ends up happening, once this line gets activated with two, this is gonna activate, one tick later this is gonna activate, and then put a lock on this. So after two ticks, a lock's gonna be placed on this, and then on the third tick, it's gonna try to go through because of the repeaters on three ticks. Well, because all that happens, this gets locked, preventing a signal to go through, but this one gets its signal and sends out its, its fireworks. So. Let's let's increase our render distance just a little bit so you guys can see the beauty of this. So if we put it out, oh, look at it, how beautiful. See, so that one sent out four. Now you guys can see all my other redstone stuff. Nope. See, this one's not sending anything. Perfect. This one only sends two. So much less. So that's the whole point is that even though, even though. Uh, Whoa, where am I? There we go. <laughs> Even though they are both sending off the same fireworks, one sends off more than the other. And so that's the whole point. And then you can put this into a nice little party popper and you got yourself a party going on. So, <laughs> like always guys, thanks for watching. Dream big.